Hi, I'm Lisa. I appreciate you taking the time to join me for another card making tutorial here on my YouTube channel or website. No matter where you're watching, welcome. Today I'm back with more foiling. I have three quick and simple cards to share with you during the video, but first let's have a quick peek at the new Thermal Web Toner Sheets Blossom Buddies. Just like the basket of fun toner sheets, these are limited edition. I'm going to go ahead and spread these out so you can get a good look at the designs. They're really beautiful toner sheets, absolutely stunning. And you can get them in A2 size, a slimline size, with white cardstock or craft cardstock. Also, I want to let you know that over on the ThermaWeb website, they have a featured foil section, 15% off of five featured foils. Jade, this color here, is one of the featured foils. And also the next color up, Twinkling Pink, is one of the featured foils. They also have Ocean, Lilac, and Orange Distress in there. If you're new to foiling, I do have a video with some tips and tricks that may help you out. You can check that out at the end of this video. So when I'm using foiled paper, I like to let that kind of be the star of the show, so to speak. And I'm going to keep this real simple with some die cutting, and then we're just going to build these cards real quick. So these are, are really fast cards, but I love how beautiful they are with that foiling on them. So for the first card, I went ahead and die cut two pieces of white cardstock. This die cut, is, unfortunately, is no longer available, so I've pulled items from my stash because I really want to use the products that I have in my craft room. Um, and this one is no longer available, but there are like dyes out on the market. So that shouldn't be hard to find. So I just colored that flower black and then liquid adhesive to layer those two die cut pieces together. And then I set it aside to dry. Now for this cutie here, the Peking Bunny, he is still available. He's linked below for you. I'm just coloring him up with some pink and uh, gray around the edges, and then of course black on his eyes. I lay him on my card base, mark around the outer edge of the die cut piece, and then I know exactly where to lay down my blending that I'm doing here with some orange and yellow inks, and it kind of keeps me in check. I know I need to stay in that area and not go out beyond it. When you die cut this bunny out, it's actually just the bunny peeking out of the circle. I used a round die to cut the rest of him out so I could go ahead and get him behind my panel. Another round nesting die to create the circle he's peeking through on the top panel. So now that we have him all ready to go, I did go ahead and color around the inner edge of that with black Copic marker. You could leave it white if you wanted to, but once we add the sentiment to it that's stamped with black ink, it pulls it all together nicely. So liquid adhesive to the back of this, and we're gonna go ahead and secure this up on our uh, card base, three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card base. Now, I do wanna tell you that I ended up doing all the sentiments at the very end, so you'll get to see all of that as soon as we wrap this card here up. Gold foil and navy. I absolutely love these colors together. This dye that I'm coloring with my B39 Copic marker is actually still available. I have it linked below for you. I went ahead and colored that dye up. I did two of these because this dye is a little bit smaller. And I thought two of these on the front of a slimline card would be really pretty. And so colored those up, adding them to the card. Make sure you use a T ruler or something to keep it straight. <laughs> this is one time you want to be very particular about keeping it straight because it will um, definitely look odd if those are not lined up perfectly. Now, I do want to tell you, I did some layering. I took a white piece of cardstock. I cut it down to about an eighth of an inch larger than that gold foil panel. And then I colored the edges of it with that B39 and then just layered all of that up onto my card base. Here are the finished cards. So quick and simple. I did real e easy sentiments on these and cut them out. I stamped the first two with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And this next one I stamped with VersaFine Claire Twilight ink because it's such a beautiful navy color. And it goes great for that. So I just created a happy anniversary card with that one and kept it real simple. 
So I really do appreciate you guys so much for taking the time to join me here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the new toner sheets in the comments below. And until next time, take care.